Can you right. see my screen? Yes, Hello, yes. I'm Hamad Rabul, a fourth year PhD candidate in computer science at the High University, and I'm going to present the paper entitled Robot Section Over Bird for Table Search and Matching. So a data table is composed of uh, data values and the headers, and this constitutes the uh, structural information. Also, the table is, uh, is, uh, is associated with uh, uh, caption, uh, section title, and uh, page title, and this denotes uh, the textual information. So we can say that tables are composed of structural information and textual uh, information. So for the motivation of our work, so our work is related to table search and uh, matching. So here we have uh, two scenarios for table search. We have the keyword-based table retrieval, where the query is a keyword-based query, and we have the content-based table retrieval, where the query is a table uh, is a table-based query. So suppose that we are given uh, this input uh, table. So we have here two uh, scenarios. So the first scenario is a row-based uh, query. For example, here uh, this query information about Ronaldo and Messi. It's uh, it it matches primarily the two the first two rows from this uh, table. We also have a second scenario, which is the column-based query. For example, the query is list of countries of players by name, and this query matches primarily these two uh, columns from a given uh, table. For the table uh, matching, so we have two tasks, which are the content-based table retrieval and table similarity. So these two tasks are actually uh, similar, but in the literature we refer to, to the content-based table retrieval for ranking task, and we refer to table uh, similarity for classification uh, task. And similar here to the keyword-based table retrieval, we also have two scenarios. So the first one, we match uh, tables based on uh, similar rows, which is uh, the row-based uh, matching. And also we can match uh, tables based on uh, similar uh, columns, and this is the column-based uh, matching. So the first uh, two columns from this table matches the column's name and the country from the second uh, table. And we need to match uh, tables, not only using the headers, but also with uh, data values. And in this uh, paper, we want to answer this question, how to match textual and structural information of uh, data tables. So for our contribution, we propose a structure over BERT, and we call it uh, Strubert. So as input, we have the structural information, which is a data table, and we have the textual information, which is composed uh, in general from the metadata and uh, the uh, query. First, we need to fuse the textual information with the structural information in order to form uh, both row-based sequences and the column-based uh, sequences. For example, here for the row-based sequences, we use uh, the first row as an example. So we need to concatenate the textual information with the representation of uh, every row. So here we have our textual information and uh, it's concatenated with the representation of the, of the, of the first row using the separator uh, operator or separator uh, special token from uh, BERT. The same for the column based sequences. We want uh, to fuse the textual information with the representation of the column. And uh, so we concatenate the textual information with the representation of the column using the separator uh, token. After that, you want to, uh, to encode the, the uh, sequences uh, using uh, BERT. And then we also apply the cell-wise polling because we want to obtain a singular representation for each uh, cell in, in, in the table. After birth plus uh, cell-wise polling, we obtain uh, two types uh, of uh, sequences. We obtain uh, the, uh, the embedding-based uh, uh, row uh, column sequences and the embedding-based row sequences. So let's start from this set of sequences. So this is, can be seen as interpreting the data table as a column-based structure, but then we need to uh, capture the row-based dependencies between these uh, sequences so that we propose uh, the horizontal self-attention, which uh, uh, operate uh, on the horizontally aligned uh, tokens so that we obtain two uh, features. So we obtain the row embeddings and we also obtain the row guided CLS by aggregating the CLS embedding from all the columns. And from the second set of sequences, so this is gonna be seen as interpreting the table as a row-based structure, and then we need to capture the column-based dependencies between these sequences. So we use the vertical self-attention 
to obtain two types of features. So we obtain the column embedding, and also by aggregating the CLS uh, embedding, we obtain the column guided uh, CLS. So we denote the row guided CLS and the column guided CLS by the coarse grained uh, features, and we denote the row embeddings and column embeddings by the fine grained uh, features. Let's move now to the table uh, matching. So in table matching, both the query and the query object are uh, data tables. And uh, to capture, uh, to, to predict the relevance score here from, uh, from a table pair, we propose a Siamese-based uh, model. And in this Siamese model, we use Strobert as a feature uh, extractor. So here we extract uh, the features from each uh, table using our Strobert uh, model. And then we need to capture the semantic similarities within the fine-grained uh, features, both in terms of the row embeddings of two tables and the column embeddings of two tables. And also we need to capture the semantic similarities within the coarse grained uh, features, both in terms of the uh, uh, row guided CLS embeddings from both tables and column guided CLS embeddings from both uh, tables. So to capture the cross matching of the fine grained uh, features, we propose a mini bird uh, model. So mini bird operates directly on the embedding level sequences of the fine grained uh, features, and mini bird is formed of one transformer layer with four attention uh, heads. For example, if you want to capture the cross matching of column embeddings between two uh, tables. So first we need to form the embedding level uh, sequence for the column uh, embeddings of the table pair. So here we have the column embedding from first table, column embedding from the second table. And uh, we also include the uh, two uh, embedding level special tokens, RAPSI and uh, the separators. So these are the trainable uh, vectors. For the input to Minibird, so it's composed of three uh, components. We have the column embedding, segment embedding, and position embedding. So the segment embedding uh, distinguished between the uh, column embedding that belongs to the first uh, table and the column embedding that belongs to the second uh, table. And the position embedding is important uh, to, uh, to denote the position of each uh, embedding. And also it's important to uh, to aggregate all the matching uh, signals in the first uh, token. So we argue that our architecture is permutation invariant in the sense that we can have a different order of uh, columns in uh, both uh, tables. And also our architecture capture many to many uh, matching between the columns, thanks to the attention uh, heads from the transformers. And after that, so we, uh, we concatenate the, the mini bird uh, output uh, for the fine grained uh, features with the coarse grained uh, features in order to obtain the representation uh, for a table uh, pair. For the keyword based uh, table search, so the query is composed of uh, several uh, keywords and the objective is to compute the query table uh, relevance score. So here we decide to include the query and the textual information because we want to capture early interactions between the query and the structural and textual information of a table. And this is similar to the interaction-based model, uh, which have better results than the representation-based model in general for document retrieval. So for the keyword-based table retrieval, instead of forming a sentence pair, so here we form a single embedding level uh, sequences for both uh, the row and the column representation. And here we have both the row embedding and the column embedding are a function of the query queue, because here we included the query in the textual, uh, in the textual information. And uh, here, finally, we use the hidden states from the RAB R and the RAB C as the row and column based aggregate for the query table pair. And uh, so we, uh, this, uh, the, uh, the output, this, these outputs from Minibird are, are, are concatenated uh, with the uh, column guided uh, CLS and uh, the row guided uh, CLS in order to form the representation for a query table uh, pair. Let's move now to the experimental uh, results. So for the data sets, we use multiple data sets for the table search and table uh, similarity for table search. So we have two, uh, uh, two cases. We have the keyword based table retrieval where we use the wiki table as a benchmark. So it's composed of 60 keyword based query and each table has five uh, fields and we have three levels of relevance for the query table pairs. And the second case is the content based table retrieval. So we use a query by example uh, data. For the table similarity, we use two data sets. The first one is the wiki tables for table similarity. So here we adapt the wiki tables 
for the table similarity task, and we iterate over all the uh, over all the query table pairs. And if two tables are relevant to the, uh, to a given query, we label these uh, two tables as a similar. Otherwise, we give uh, we label it as the not uh, similar. And the second data is the PubMed Central or PMC, so it's related to the biomedicine and life uh, sciences. And each table in this collection has two fields, caption and uh, data values. So for the baselines, uh, we compare against the multiple uh, baselines for keyword-based table retrieval and table uh, matching. So for the keyword-based table retrieval, we compare against the multi-field uh, PM25. So we score each field using PM25 in a multi-field ranking uh, strategy. We compare against STR, it's a feature-based method using multiple types of embedding. Bird row max, it's the state of the art and it's based on the CLS embedding of the sequence formed from the query and the table. The uh, DS Aramam, it's a deep semantic relevance matching model that captures both semantic and relevance matching signals from a given query table pair. And finally, Tabbert, so it's based on the embedding of the CLS token from the last layer of the vertical self-extension. For the table uh, matching, so we compare against uh, simple uh, baselines, which are embedding plus multilayer perceptron. So we flatten the table to compute the mean of embeddings for a table. The second simple baseline is TFIDF plus multilayer perceptron. So this is based on the traditional TFIDF uh, matching. TabSIM, it's a neural model and it's uh, based on two separate uh, networks. So we have one for caption and another one for data values. So TabSIM uh, decouples the textual information from the structural information. And finally, Tabbert. So we adapt uh, Tabbert for table matching by proposing the Siamese uh, model where Tabbert is used as a feature uh, extractor. For the system variations, so we compare against the Struberth fine. So here we use only fine grained features, which are the row and column embeddings. Struberth course, we use only the coarse grained features, which are the uh, column guided CLS and the row guided uh, CLS. Struberth uh, KP, so this is based on kernel pooling. So instead of using mini bird on top of Struberth feature, here we use the kernel uh, pooling. And to use the kernel pooling, first we need to compute the interaction matrices between rows and columns. And then we can summarize these interaction matrices using a kernel pooling uh, layer to obtain the feature uh, actors for the rows and the columns. Strubert CNN, so this is using CNN on top of the Strubert uh, features. So first of all, we need to compute the interaction uh, tensor of rows or columns, and then we can uh, apply multiple convolution filters with different uh, width and uh, heights. And then we keep only the most significant uh, matching signal by applying uh, the max polling for the feature uh, map. So this super CNN is similar to the uh, CNN that is used for the deep uh, rank model in document uh, retrieval. We move now to the table search results, both in terms of content-based table retrieval and keyword-based table retrieval. So we compare against uh, multiple uh, baselines and we report the evaluation metrics for uh, NDCG at five, MRR and uh, MAP. So for the content-based table retrieval, we show that our full model Strubert outperforms the, the baselines and all the system uh, variations. So in particular, Strubert has uh, better results than uh, TabSIM. So TabSIM uh, decouples the uh, structural and textual information. On the other hand, our model uses both the textual and the structural information. And also Strubert outperforms the results of Tabbert. So Tabbert uses only column uh, representation, but here we show that uh, by using both uh, column and row representation, we improve the performance of the content-based table retrieval. For the keyword-based uh, table uh, retrieval, we also um, outperform uh, the baselines. And uh, in particular, we outperform the state of the art, which is Bert Romax. So Bert Romax uh, ignores the structural information. And we show that uh, our model Strubert that incorporate the text structural information with textual information uh, achieves better uh, results. For the table similarity results, we report the uh, results on two data sets, which are the PMC and the wiki tables. And as evaluation metrics, we have the micro precision recall F1 score and uh, accuracy. And here we show that uh, our uh, full model Strubert uh, outperforms the baselines and all the uh, system uh, variation. 
So to conclude, Strubert augments the vertical self extension with our novel horizontal self extension to capture the structural information of the table. So Strubert fuses the structural and textual information of data tables to solve three table related downstream tasks, keyword and content based table retrieval and table similarity. Strubert embeddings are integrated into our mini bird ranking model to predict the relevance score between the keyword based query and the table or a table pair. Our ablation study shows that using both fine and coarse grained features achieves better results than either set uh, alone. All right, I'm here for the questions. And very nice uh, papers uh, about the table search. Any questions from the floor? Uh, hi, Oscar. I have uh, two questions. Um, the first question is about: uh, uh, Have you ever think about the take the structure query um, for the for the research for this for this mm. topic? Yes, we can. Okay, structure query. We can consider the content-based table retrieval as we have structured query because uh, the input query is mm -hmm. actually a table, right? So. It can be considered as a structured query, I guess, right? Because my, my motivation for the question is uh, the topic is, is, uh, is, uh, is like, uh, I, 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 I'm not follow the table search a long time, but I, I think there's many, many ways to improve the table search. So uh, uh, people rather more, more interesting in uh, content uh, instead of just structure. So uh, I think uh, maybe you can think about the finesse uh, uh, development about. Uh, I think there's uh, probably the connection. Uh, um, structure query, which is uh, like we 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 insert certain uh, content or. Embed meaning. So, do you think this is a promised direction? I think there was a problem with the connection. So, but um, can you hear me? I think there was a problem with the connection. I'm not sure if it's only me or everyone. I'm not sure. Hi. Yes, I think, I think your connection is not very stable. Oh, okay, so uh, no problem. We can uh, exchange your idea later on. Okay, so okay. let's move to the next paper. Thank you very much. Yes, sure, yes. <laughs>